Hey YouTube and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use React and Recharts and Parcel to load in a book and do a histogram of all the different character accounts that exist in that book. So if you see here we are doing the book Moby Dick and we have various different instances of these characters inside of that text. And for the book file itself I went to this Gutenberg.org and found the text of Moby Dick. And I'm not going to actually post this in my repo because I don't really want to investigate what the copyright laws are. I'm pretty sure it's public domain and it's not an issue, but since it's coming from this website, I'm not going to actually put it in my repo. But for this project, I do have it pasted here just for this video demonstration. And you could change this to whatever text that you want. Secondly, we're using ReCharts, um, which is a cool library you can use to do charting in React. In this particular case, we're going to be using the bar chart library or component so we'll be using this code in just a little bit and if you want the github repo for recharts you can follow it here and follow their documentation to kind of figure out how to set that up so with all that being said let's go ahead and look at our code and try to recreate this from scratch so what we have here is a bare bones project file where i already did all the imports for us to kind of save some time but notice we've imported recharts and the components we'll need we've imported react and react dom and then the bootstrap and at the bottom, we're just rendering hello world to a root component. And that root component is located here in the index file. So if you see, we have a div with ID of root. That is where our React components are being injected to after they're rendered. So if I go back, you can see that we have a React app running and it prints out hello world. I went ahead and laid out some uh, tasks for us to follow. So it's a little bit easier to follow this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and do them one by one. And at the end, we should have a cool running histogram of all the characters of the book Moby Dick. So step one says load in the book text using fetch. So one thing we can do in Parcel is we can import static assets. So I'm going to say import book from dot slash book dot txt. And when I run this, this will actually be a URL to a local hosted book file. So you can see here it printed out slash book, some random characters and letters, our characters and numbers, and then .txt. So now that we have an actual location of that book, we can use a function that's built into the browser called fetch to kind of fetch that book. I'll say fetch book. This ends up being a promise, so I need to chain a then to it. And then we should be able to get the results back of that fetch result. And in this case, since we're fetching a text file, one thing you can do with the fetch result is you can call dot text, which will basically convert the binary or blob to raw text that you can actually parse over. And then secondly, what we want to do is we probably want to get that text and invoke it in a callback function. So I'll just go ahead and move this React code to where we're getting the text. I typed text twice on accident. So let me just change that to a then. OK, so everything's working. I could probably render out the text here. I don't know if that's going to crash my browser because it's probably a decent amount of text that's in that book. So let's fetch it and see if it starts rendering out something. OK, so we have all the text of the book right here. So step one is done. Let's move on to step two, which is, let me move all these up here. Step two says make an internal histogram of the characters. So one thing we want to do is we want to loop through all this text and keep track of what characters we find. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply loop through. So for const care of text, and I want to keep track of those characters. So I'm going to say characters is equal to an empty object. Characters of car is equal to. Now this is a little shortcut where I can just initialize it to zero if we haven't seen that character. So I'm going to say characters of car or zero and then plus one. So at this point, if I were to print out characters here, I could type, print that out and run that in the console and see what happens. You can see here we have a list of all the different characters. So the T's, the H's, P's, some are uppercase, some are lowercase. So we have a histogram kind of internally, but we need to kind of change it up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and cast all these characters to lowercase. So 
and I'm going to be using that for my histogram instead. Now we should have all lower cases of numbers and characters. The next step I want to do is I want to convert this to an array of only A's through Z's. So I'm going to say const data is equal to that object of the, I'm going to use the object keys of that. I'm going to call map on those keys. And then basically for every key that we have, I'm going to return an object that has a key and then a value is going to be characters of key. And then I want to filter every key and make sure it's only the A through Z's. So I'm going to say um, entry. And I'm going to go ahead and just filter out the ones that the entry of key is greater than or equal to A. I'm going to say key error code at zero greater than or equal to A. And this is just a way to like convert the string represent representation to a numeric so I can do kind of a range filter here. So if, if it's greater than A and it is also less than or equal to Z, then it should be in our array. So if I were to print this out now, we should have all of those characters that are A through Z. Let's save that, go back, object.key is not a function. So this is object.keys actually, so that was a typo on my part. All right, so now we have a bunch of keys and you notice they're all lowercase A through Z and we have the key and we have a value here. One thing you'll notice is that they're out of order. So we do want to sort by numeric order. So I could just go down here and say data.sort. I'm going to say A, B, a dot key dot local compare I think that's the function b dot key so basically this is how you compare strings in JavaScript I'm saying order them from a to z by comparing a to b and if this is set up correctly once I print out the data we should see that now that object is a through z now so we have a b c d e cool so it looks like it's in order now um, we have two steps left. Now we need to render the app and also bring in recharts to display the UI. So inside of here, we're already rendering the app here, right? So we don't really even need that step. So let's go ahead and try to build out a bar graph using that data. So if I go to the recharts up here and I copy this bar code or bar chart code, I'll change this to Moby Dick character counts. Now it's good to have a title so we actually know what we're doing. And put that in a div. Put that in a div. All right, so let's get that bar chart going. I'm going to pass it a width of 600, a height of 400, and then pass it data. And there's different components that you can include or choose to omit inside your bar graph or bar chart component. But the ones that we're fam um, interested in is basically bar, which you need to pass a data key, which in this case, it's going to be value. And then on our X axis, the data key is going to be E. Um, Cartesian grid, I don't think we need that or legend. So let's go, go ahead and save that and see what happens. Right on, so now we have the bar chart rendering out using React or recharts.js. You see here we have all of our accounts and we have some blue styling and the blue styling is from this fill so I can just go ahead and get rid of that because we don't really care about styling right now. Awesome, so that was pretty straightforward. I mean, using recharge.js was pretty trivial. I think the hardest part was just grabbing that data and pre-processing it. But hopefully that kind of gives you an introduction of how easy it is to use recharge.js and how easy it is to kind of build something with React and Parcel and whatnot assuming you have that project structure already um, set up. As a reminder, I'm not going to commit this book.txt. So if you try to fetch this project from GitHub and run it, it'll probably crash unless you paste your own text file here. In fact, I'll just go here and say, change it to testing. So if I change it to the text, testing, we see that our bar chart changes to just those six letters. So feel free to come in and add whatever you want. If you actually wanted to like, to count up the characters of some text. 
covered a lot of different things. We imported the library, read in some text files. We used fetch to fetch the text. We created a histogram of characters. We kind of did some pre-processing to filter and sort them. And then finally, we rendered them using rechart.js here. All right, like always, all my code is posted at github.com slash codycyber slash YouTube. So if you wanted to fetch this project and kind of do something with it, feel free to do so. Be sure to like and press that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future. All right, thank you so much for watching.